Welcome to part four of my series of videos on our Crossing Newfoundland by ATV Adventure from 2017. On this particular day, we traveled from Badger to Howley and Deer Lake. And I say Howley and Deer Lake because half of us camped for the night on a beach in Howley, and then the rest of us went to Deer Lake, which is about another 25 kilometers past Howley. So those of us that went to Howley did about 100 kilometers, and then those of us who went to Deer Lake did about 125 or 130 altogether. Uh, which is about 80 miles. So I'll show you here what we did. Started here in Badger. And then we headed through Millertown Junction. We stopped over here at the Granite Quarry. Took a couple of photos and then a short distance after that we went up to the Gaff Topsail. Now the Gaff Topsail is a mountain peak that you can ride your machine up to. It's about a kilometer uh, long trail. Here's the trail here to the top. And I've marked it with a little picnic icon because usually what we do is we get to the top there's a nice flat concrete platform that's up there that uh, used to be a radio tower from World War II. And we park our machines there and then we climb up the rest of the way uh, up to the top of the mountain. It's probably another, I don't know, 80 or 100 feet up. And it's a fantastic, fantastic view from right up in this area. And you can see this whole valley and area all below in a 360 degree view. It's quite something to see in person. It's one of my favorite parts of the trip. Then after that, we made our way back down continued heading west. We stopped over here at the Howley Shopping Center. We got some gas. Then we headed over to the beaches, which is not far from the gas station at all. At all. Once you get past that gas station, uh, I'm not sure what the total distance is here. I'll measure it out. It's, uh, it's a little over a kilometer. Once you get past here, you can kind of go right or left down onto these sandy beaches, and it's really, really nice down there. It's quite beautiful. Um, and it's a lake, so there's no tides that come and, come and go. But the water does rise or lower depending on how dry it is that year. So sometimes you can drive right along the beach here to come out to this nice camping spot. Uh, if the water's too high, there is a trail. If you follow it up here someplace, I think this is the beginning of it, that you can follow right down, and it'll take you out to this area as well. So those of us who stopped there for the night, that's where we camped. And usually what we do is we drive up the trail here a bit to this section over here. And this side of the, the beach, there's usually lots of driftwood. We gather some of that driftwood, take it back and burn it up at our campfire for the night. The other fellas, they barbecued with us that night and then they headed back over to Deer Lake. Now when you're heading to Deer Lake, you can basically take two different routes. You can take this blue line, which is the rail bed, or at one point it breaks off to the left. You can take this orange trail, which I like to take... Uh, it's a, kind of a much prettier route because you get to run along all this water here. It's a nice view. And the end of the rail, or the end of this uh, trail rather, brings you right out across the street from where uh, the other fella spent the night, which is the Driftwood Inn Motel. And all you have to do, if you zoom in close here, you can like cross the street. Here's a trail. It takes you right into the back of uh, the motel. And then there's another trail that comes out, takes you into town. So you don't have to drive on the roads, it takes you right to a gas station, and then here's some other trails that'll take you through town. Uh, some places you have to drive on the road a little bit, like so if you want to come up here and you want to go to uh, Tim Hortons or something like that, you can do that. But I'll talk about that in the next video, about how we left town. So that's what our adventure for today is going to be, and I'm going to show you that video right now. So we spent the night in trailblazers like we usually do. We get up, we had breakfast, and we cleaned up. We packed up our machines, topped up any air uh, and any tires that needed it, and then we made our way west.
Okay, what you guys just saw right there was the granite quarry, which is about six kilometers away from the gaff topsoil. So this is the granite quarry. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. Yeah, there you go. So this is where we were kind of playing around in the water and all that stuff. We always like to stop in there and take pictures, even though we've seen it before. Uh, we'd usually head away from there, about six kilometers up the trail. It's a pretty short distance. And then uh, jump right on here in this little this little trail here to go up to the top of the gaff. Now, this trail is um, it's a little rough. It's kind of rocky and a little tight, but it's nothing really. You can't get over it all. It's not hard, but uh, it's just a little slow going for a bit. And uh, it's totally worth it, though, once you get to the top. So once you leave the granite quarry and you head up to the gaff top, so it's actually pretty easy to find. If you're following my GPS tracks, uh, you'll find it no problem. But if you're not, uh, when you're traveling down the rail bed, it's like this. It's kind of, uh, it's straight, but it's tight and there's lots of alder brushes on either side. All of a sudden on your left hand side, you're going to see a big opening. That's where the trail starts and this is where we're at right now. So like I said, it's kind of rough. Uh, it's slow going, but it's nothing you can't get through. You just take your time and then uh, you know, you'll have no problems. In a couple of sections it opens up to a few clearings and it's nice to see the, the scenery change as you're kind of going higher and higher. And uh, so anyhow, so you get the idea here. It's kind of rough. I'll, uh, I'll just skip ahead and show you the, uh, the top. Now this is almost the top to the left. There's an opening here too. So if you get a large group of guys, you can put some machines down there or you can go to the very top, which is where I'm going to this concrete pad. Uh, I like going up here, you get a nice view and then we usually, somebody always brings a barbecue or a gas stove and we go up, take some pictures at the top, come back down, barbecue up some hamburgers or steaks or something like that and then, uh, you know, it's, it makes for a pretty good spot for lunch. So once you park your ATVs, you're not quite at the top, you still have to find a little uh, trail here it's well worn from many people using it over the years that'll take you up to the top it's not too hard to get up there but you know if you're intimidated by rocks and uh, a few steep places like uh, this does have you might want to just stay down by the ATVs and uh, let your friends go up the top take some pictures but even where the ATVs are you get some great great uh, photos and some nice views there Some view, huh? Jeez. I think you, you, you gotta take this in. You gotta absorb as much of this as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, Bill, the Anukshuk's gone. The big Anukshuk's gone that used to be here. It was here for years.
60 degrees. Way this way. Yeah. How do you know trucks go? Let's probably want to take a picture. Yeah. I want this all the center. Okay, we just got gas at the Howley Shopping Center. We're on our way to the campground, or not, it's not really a campground, it's a beach, uh, Howley Beach. And uh, so it's it's just a kilometer or so up the trail here. It's not far at all. Uh, as soon as you cross this bridge, there's a couple of different paths you can take to the left or the right if you want, but uh, we usually go to the left. There's, the beach is much bigger over there. And uh, so I took uh, the second or third turn down here, and you can see one of the other fellas. Uh, there goes Dwayne, he took one of the other ones. Uh, the other entrances and then there's a few other guys coming back there too so I'm waiting for them to catch up so then we're going to head down the beach here and uh, head off to our campsite and uh, just explore the beach a little bit too
Okay, so we've just about had enough fun horsing around here, and uh, we're heading back to where we're going to go set up camp, set up our tents and barbecues and things like that. And then uh, instead of being smart, Dwayne and I are going to go through this mud hole up here instead of going around it to the left like everybody else. That hole that I just hit uh, that I said was a little harsher than I thought it was because there was a big rock in the middle and luckily I hit it in the middle and hit my uh, my skid plate so it didn't damage anything put some scrapes in the bottom but when Dwayne went through he hit it on his tie rod so they ended up having to take it off and John was able to pound it perfectly straight and then they put it back on Couple of late ones to the party. Wow. Wow. Yeah, got my GoPro going. 